In this presentation, we present a system which is capable of taking solar heat and incorporate it into a ventilation stream so that the ventilation heating load of a building is reduced. All this is performed into a unitized curtain wall system which is compatible with modern architectural aesthetics. Commercial buildings are characterized by requiring high ventilation streams into the buildings to meet fresh air requirements uh, of the building codes. And some of these buildings are actually highly glazed. So that also implies that there are common local discomfort problems close to the envelope due to excessive cold in winter period and overheating in summer. The system proposed in this uh, presentation tackles both issues at the same time, delivering a, a double envelope system which is more insulating, takes the excess heat from the sun into the ventilation system and also reduces the, the heating load of the building. This is the layout of the novel double envelope curtain wall proposed. You can see it in two different modes, solar harvesting on the left and heat dissipation on the right. And the curtain wall incorporates a ventilated cavity which is continuous over the whole height of the facade. The air in this cavity is heated mainly by solar irradiation but also by heat recovered from the indoor space. The preheated air from this ventilation cavity is directed to roof level and then through a set of dampers it is either conducted to the ventilation air intake as you see in the left or dissipated to the exterior which is what we call bypass mode, and you can see it on the right. There is an integrated control system with embedded electronics and actuators, and the system is designed for integration with existing rooftop ventilation systems, achieving both aesthetic and functional integration with the building. In 2019, we carried out a full-scale experiment at Technalia's headquarters near Bilbao, we built a two-story high uh, curtain wall, built and installed into a purpose-specific building. You can see it there. It has uh, three modules of the facade over two floors, and it is connected to a commercial air handling unit in a technical room. The heated volume is located on the ground floor, and the said technical room is located in the first floor. Ventilation rates were set to be representative of a much larger building. The goal was to characterize the weather-dependent outcome of the system. This slide shows the weather-dependent performance of the system. We found out that output power is a linear function of both solar irradiation and external to internal temperature difference. As you can see in the graph of the right, we obtained a very good fit to a linear regression and we obtained the parameters for the specific area, ventilation airflow, and building size used in this test setup. As a conclusion, we can say this is an energy efficient alternative to conventional curtain wall facades, maintaining the same aesthetics. Under medium insulation levels, we got temperature gains in the order of three to four degrees, and typical output powers in the range of 100 to 300 watts per meter square of facade. The efficiency in typical conditions of this test was around 50%, but we realized that the efficiency can greatly increase for colder temperatures, and that's why we think this is a very promising system, especially for cold climates. With the results in the previous slide, we now per uh, perform a projection over several climates and uh, some real buildings. To do so, we, 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 we picked the climates of Bilbao in Spain, Sydney in Australia, and of course, Auckland in New Zealand. They are actually quite far one from the other. Uh, winter is the opposite time of the year uh, in these countries, but they are quite uh, common uh, or similar climates in, in terms of uh, coldness. They are in the range of 700 to 130 heating degree days. Actually, in the three countries, the temperature range over the full year goes in between 10 and 20 degrees. And uh, what you can see in the, in the graphs at the bottom is that the corrected input temperature into the um, ventilation system uh, implies that roughly 15 to even 25 to 30 percent of uh, energy can be saved depending on the month of the year. This, of course, higher in uh, climate in periods where 
if they're hitting the load is small, that's to be expected. So during summertime in some climates, it is a relevant uh, saving, but also even the coldest uh, winter periods, savings are always out of 10%. Thank you very much for your attention.